Hello everyone, bad guys here and welcome back to another video with another review. How's it going? Everything okay? Good to have a good great day every day, so smile a bit and keep continue. In this video we are going to have an unboxing and depth reviewing of Nikon 50mm f1.8 AFD prime lens or we can call it nifty 50. Inside the box it was just a nifty 50 prime lens itself and it wasn't any accessories such as hood or pouch, just the lens itself. The lens has a 52mm cap so we can use any kind of 52mm filter such as polarized ND or UV to protect the lens from any damages. At the back of the lens, well, let's get closer. As you see, at the back of the lens we have a metal mount which are always rather to be and it is much better than plastic mount. The lens has a 7 aperture blade included 6 element in 5 groups. The lens is well made but the body is plastic, well cheap plastic build quality. But the glass is glass with metal now. We have a focus ring in front of the lens covered with rubber plastic. Which it moves mm, very smoothly. It's really fantastic lens especially for videography with nice shallow depth of field. Here we have an aperture ring, but to use it manual, we need to unlock it. This is the aperture's lock and unlock button to use it automatically or manually. And it begins from f1.8 with really good shallow depth of field down to f22. Just a second. And there it is, the f-stop begins from f1.8 down to f 22. This is the little little tiny nifty 50 prime lens and it is about 155 grams. Super light and super compact one. Look. We can use this 50mm lens on full frame and even on crop sensor DSLRs. This is a 50mm lens and of course it doesn't have a zoom, but if you use it on crop sensory cameras, the 50mm lens with 1.5 crop factor became approximately 75mm lens, which became a really good and ideal portrait lens. This is an AF and B series lens, so it doesn't have an inbuilt autofocus motor. So remember that it is going to be manual focus on Nikon D40, D60, D3000 and D5000 series. You need to use it on the camera that has an inbuilt autofocus motor like D7000 series and etc. Here we have Nikon D7200 with motor and Nikon 3200 without motor. So let's check it out. Okay, here is the Nikon D7200 and D3200 with motor and without motor. So, loading the lens, the cab is on, put it in autofocus and turn it on. Here is the test result. By the way, we can uh, see the focusing noise too. So let's turn it off and load it on D70, D3200. So turn it on, it's on. Here is the testing result. Mm, it's nothing happening. So when you want to buy, be sure that your body has an inbuilt autofocus motor. Alright, now testing the focusing speed with D7200 on a tripod in live view mode. And these are our subject, the Nikon 10.5mm fish eye lens and the Nikon 50mm f1.4. By the way, the focusing speed through the viewfinder was much faster than live view mode. Let's see that. This is one of the cheapest lens we can buy. It focuses very fast and produces fantastic sharp images, even in low light situation. Mentioning that in f4 you can get super sharp result from this 50mm prime lens. All in all super light and a small lens and really enjoyable to use. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. And like always, have a great shooty day.